What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here on the Jamie Staples channel. We have a grind day coming for you guys. Uh, it's Tuesday, this is my eighth stream in a row. It's been so good to be back and excited to do it again today. Gonna take the next two days off for a Premier League match tomorrow night with Lawrence and then Valentine's Day with Rebecca. So today, since today is primarily about playing poker, we wanted to talk about a concept within poker and we're gonna touch on motivation. Something I'm sure that a lot of you have experienced ups and downs within poker, that's very natural. I've been playing the game for nine years, so I wanted to give you a little bit of context as to how I think about motivation in poker and what it's like when I am really motivated and what it's like when I don't really wanna play that much. So that's the plan today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's win a tournament. Let's talk motivation. Yeah, I made a profit yesterday. Uh, so yesterday's Monday stream, I got fourth place in a knockout series on party for, I think it was like 1800 or something, a 33. But we made three really deep runs, so that was exciting. And after days like that, obviously you're just very hyped up the stream. So getting out there early, it's around four o'clock, I think. 4.30, okay. Well, it's, it's mid time. <laughs> it's not early, it's not late though. So uh, yeah, hoping to put in like a big session, eight or nine hours hopefully today and, uh, and ride the heat. What's up everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another stream here on the Focus Staples channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Back for the eighth stream in a row, I think. Pretty sure this is number eight. Whoa, so let's see what we can do. Uh, the plan today, we're gonna play the Knockout Series primarily. Check out what's going on with the Turbo Series. Uh, we're gonna play the $320 Gladiator and potentially a 500 Knockout Series as well. So we'll see. Without further ado, it's time to register some tournaments. No better turn in the deck. Now I'm probably just gonna call the turn because we're protecting against exclusively a deuce. That's it. I think they rarely, 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 hardly ever have a six that squeezes or a seven. Very unlikely. So basically we're only protecting against a deuce that's only gonna come on the river 8% of the time. Uh, we're gonna have some bluffs here from ace highs that are gonna fire turn and fire river. So we're gonna slow play, hope for no deuce. <laughs> now what do we do dude we have a set for literally we're getting such a good price here like a ridiculously good price and we have a set we beat like kings and queens and jacks and stuff like that and sometimes people just get jammed up here and shove anyways we probably still have to call but it's so annoying man because i think we just got beat by an ace but like not all the time all right good Ho! Oh! Whoa! Jack Jack 3 in the flop. Now, how do we get money though? That's the problem. We're still gonna get paid from like some decent ace highs from like tens through deuces are gonna continue. So, just because it's a bounty, I think we got a bet. But they gave it up. Fair play. I mean, what you gonna do? We haven't busted any tournaments, really. I think we've lost like one tournament. Our stacks aren't looking great right now, but I don't feel like the stacks tell the story, really. Like, we've been playing really well and like focused. Yeah, I don't know. It just hasn't translated to chips yet, but we have some good things. We have five 55s, a 215, a 109, and a 22. Good loadout, gearing up for a full day, and we're going to run a day. So this is what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> it's just not panning out yet, but it's early days, don't worry. Will they continue? Because we have the nuts. 10 in the river. Makes some full houses, but I expect most two pairs of sets to have made a move by now. So that might actually be a good card because if they have a 10, definitely getting paid. But thinking about it, 6-5 called. Whoa, that is a wide call from 6-5. Did not expect that. Problem is if we like make it this, it looks so strong, right? We have like nothing left, so. I'm gonna shove over the lip. Call base queen. And we're dead. GG in that satellite, guys. Yeah, so it's been an interesting hour. We busted some tournaments. Uh, we chipped up in some, uh, which is pretty sweet. And we're still in this satellite, which is a $1,000 ticket. 47 to 53, 21 pay. So we've got some promise. The stream is hype, having a fun time. 
no complaints. Is Jax for a $54 knockout? Come on, man. We're in there. Uh, call by aces, but we just hit a 10. Like, it's no big deal. All right, back to 31K. That's cool. So yeah, though, what we're talking about on the vlog today, you guys, is motivation. Motivation in poker, which I imagine a lot of you have experience with, especially those of you that are semi-serious or like, professional players that are watching the stream like you guys know the deal right so i've been playing for nine years and i've had periods over like two months where i played like maybe five times and then i've had periods where i literally played seven days a week for two months in a row so i've experienced both both sides of the spectrum i think my biggest takeaway with motivation in poker is that it's natural to go through swings of of being really excited and happy about it and being really negative about it. Uh, I think that's just part of this game, especially a game where there's so much variation in in the results you can expect. Like you can play really well for a week and just lose. And that like, of course, we're human beings. Like, of course that's gonna get to you. So I think first of all, like the first point that I'll make in this vlog is like, it's normal. It is normal to be hype and not hype. This way we can three bet and then fold to a four bet from the big blind, the few times that that happens. Doesn't really change our situation against DD. Queen, ace, 10, queen. Not today, the party poker say. Poker wise, yeah, really bad hour. Um, I think playing well, like focus, making good decisions and stuff, just nothing is panning out. It's just one of those hours, man, where you get crushed, but you did all the right things. Um, you know, to the best of your ability. Referring back to the video from the other day, it's like, my focus is good. We're picking up all the spots. We're thinking it through. Just gotta trust the process. Keep it going. Would like a call here, obviously. Against King Nine. Great lineup. Oh, thank you, Barry. Justice from Barry. Let's go. A nice hand, Ace Jack. And a huge side pot. Holds. Yes! That's the nuts, man. Big bounty coming our way. We're up to 200,000 in the 320 Gladiator. That's a big pot. Let's go. Uh, that was a good hour. I mean, we, we picked up some chips in some spots. Um, we still don't have any deep runs. Like that's, that's a problem after last hour. Like We're not deep enough in any tournaments to, to have any caches yet, but let's continue on with the discussion from earlier. Like, What do you do if you're not motivated? We, we established that it's fine and it's normal to feel either very motivated or not motivated in poker. It's going to fluctuate. What do you do if you're not motivated? The thing that always helps me is threefold, really. One, study your game. If you study, I don't know about you guys, but like I just get excited to get out there and play, like put it into action. If you learn new things, you want to play. So that really helps with motivation if you're striving to get it back. Two, move down in stakes. Now this can be a double-edged sword because that might demotivate you. But to me, I view it as a challenge of like, okay, I need to crush these stakes and then I can move back up. You have more of a skill edge against your opponents, so that gives you confidence as well, which makes it more fun to play. And then three, like just take a breather for a bit. Take a little break from poker. And when you come back, it's gonna be like, oh, I haven't played in a couple days. Like I'm feeling fresh, I'm ready to go. That would be my approach if you're feeling less motivation. Also a quick note here, if you're gonna take a break, like actually take a break. Don't do the thing where you like play two tournaments a day and then like you watch some poker stuff online and then that's it. Like don't put in like 30% days, go 0%, 0%, 0% and then hit it with a hundred. Um, I think that'll help, so. Four eighty two subscriptions. Huh, easy. Oh my god, man. Ho! Oh, double bounty and a massive stack! And a massive stack! What motivates you? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, in the beginning, like when I first started playing poker and I was 19, it was the baller lifestyle, which is very shallow, but I was 18, 19, right? So it was just like, I want to be one of those guys on TV that lives in Vegas, has all the money, the girls are interested, like all that, you know, the cliche, right? right. Uh, and then as I grew up and realized it's a bit of a shallow pursuit and also a bit of a mirage, 
and that it's not really like that, you know? Like, usually people are paid and like, it's just for the show. Right. Um, I started pursuing more just like personal development, like challenging myself. When I decided to drop out of school, like, I wanted to make poker a really big part of my life and just playing wasn't big enough. It's like, I wanted to be an ambassador because it's unfair the way people look at the game. So my overarching goal is to make as big of a positive impact I can in poker. Uh, I think on my deathbed, my impact on that is going to be more important than if I... Dull bills, y'all. Yeah. But the bull of lifestyle, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's whatever, dude. It's whatever. It's really a mirage, Brando. It is. All right, take it down. We have a suited king and a button for 8.4 big blinds. Move all in again. Need a king or a deuce or a club. GG guys, out in 12 for $333. Raise folding sucks, raise calling sucks. Just gotta shove. Two away from the money bubble, and I can't take it. I honestly can't take it if I bubble. I can't. I can't take it. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go, man! Barry on the river! Come on, Barry! We call. Oh, we're ahead for a bounty! Oh! Whoa. We're 36 of 56 right now, this KO series, but we're 3 of 12 in this 55 six packs with 1500 for the win. So it's looking really good. We've got some sick potential. Happy about that. Double stack in the 109 knockout, chipped up in the 55 bounty, chipped up in the turbo series 109, chipped up in the six max hyper, and 4x starting stack in the 33. There's just a lot of hype late session. I mean, we got smashed early in the session. We held out, we've got hope. 3 of 12. Let's do it. Now is your time, my friend. It's not, but like, believe it. It's not your time. It's not. It's not your time. Our 3 bet with 6s gets through as well. We are down to 8. Pocket Queens in the Turbo Series. 54 off the money. Could bubble here, but uh, it's also Queens. So, kind of got to roll with her hand. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? Yeah, I'm out of the six max. GG in third for 600. Um, it's good. Yeah, I mean, the two chip leaders kind of wore me down. Uh, I had aces, flop queen 10-5, bet all diamonds, bet raise, shove, call. They had queen 10. That was it. Uh, pretty good run though. I'll take third place and we are on the bubble of this 109 Turbo Series with 26k for the win. Pretty good stack and two more and uh, the stream's lit. So in general good news. I mean disappointing, but take the break and get back at it. We hit that pay jump. 250 bucks locked up now. How we doing? So well. So well. I love seeing that lineup. 400,000 coming our way. We're up to 667. Okay. How are we doing? Very average. We're going to shove. It is a profitable shove. You can also like limp here, but let's go for the shove. And that's the end of the journey. Disappointing end, you guys, $361. All right, you guys, that is the end of the day. We had a really sick run in the 109 Turbo Series. Ended up getting like 50th or so for 360. We had a real shot. It's 26,000 for the win. Uh, massive field, but fell a little bit short for a small loss in the day. Well, not a small loss, a mid loss, 1,200 or so. Put in some good effort, ran bad early, but that's okay. Uh, we gave it a go, and we'll come back on Thursday and try again. So yeah, motivation in poker. We kind of talked a little bit about what happens when you're not motivated. Now, what do you do when you're very motivated? Well, this is very self-explanatory. We didn't touch on it because there's not a lot to say. When you love poker and you're excited about poker, this is your most productive time as a poker player. So take advantage, play the game we all love and enjoy, and uh, ride the wave, so to speak. I'm taking the next two days off vlogging, you guys, going to Champions League match tomorrow night. And then I have Valentine's Day with Rebecca on Thursday. So I'll be vlogging on Friday for Grind Weekend. 
Boys Weekend, Brando. Ooh, boys Weekend. Boys Weekend. Rebecca's out of town. So until then, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.